Hey guys, so in this video we're finally going to be going over our Python file finder. So let's get started. We're going to import OS and we're going to create a function called find. Pass in two parameters, the name and the path, which is going to be the name of the file and the path we want to start from. And then we're going to go ahead and create a variable called result and it's going to have an empty list. We're going to then create a for loop for root, ders, and files in os.walk path if name in files result dot append os dot path dot join root and name return result and then we're going to go ahead and print that out we're going to call our function I created a example text we're going to go ahead and start from the C directory and it's going to go look for it. now let me explain this a little bit because it may be confusing so OS dot walk um, OS is just the module basically that we're importing and walk is the function right so walk as you can see it's a directory tree generator so it generates the different trees or um, the subdirectories and files from the path that we input right and so what this for loop does is it does our starting point our subdirectories and all of the files inside of our hard drive and it loops through all of them until right we go to the if statement which it checks every single time it loops the for loop loops through right so when name is in files it appends it to our result list and then we return it if it doesn't find it it doesn't do it and the result list will stay empty so let's go ahead and run that and depending on your starting point and how far your file is it may take longer but we'll go ahead and give this a couple minutes to run And as you can see down here, it returned it an example dot txt. So it returned it just fine with the file path before that, right? Um, but let's go a couple directories up, right? So let's go to the desktop. Save and run that, and let's see how much quicker it finds it, right? And there you go. You see? The other one took maybe three minutes, maybe a little less, and this one found it in a matter of seconds. So the higher, or I should say the closer the starting point is to the file, the faster it's going to find it. Anyways, that's it for this video. In the next one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to improve this and how you can return any file that matches a pattern using regular expression and we'll also be importing another library to do so. Till next time.